Welcome to Integrity Inspire, your daily dose of inspiration and motivation, featuring the bright and talented members of the Integrity Marketing Group family. Now, here's your host, Integrity co-founder and CEO, Brian W. Adams. Well, hello, everybody. Thanks so much for joining today's Inspire podcast. We're so excited to uh, have another incredible announcement um, this morning. And these are two people that I have grown to just love and admire and just fun people that I can't wait to introduce you to and announce you in just a minute. But before we get started, we have several exciting announcements I want to cover. Um, and man, we got a lot going on here at Integrity. In fact, last week, we actually uh, have decided uh, and announced that we're moving the Dallas office to downtown Dallas. And it actually made the newspaper. We'll be sharing some information around that uh, for all of you. But really, as we're growing and expanding, especially in a shared service center, we are excited to continue to look for ways to continue to grow and expand as well. Uh, and so we're having to look for more space and look for ways to bring in even more talent to continue to serve you and your business overall. And so uh, excited about that. So we'll have a new address. We'll be sending that uh, to all of you guys. We're in a temporary office in Dallas right now in the same building, uh, but we will be building out uh, our future home uh, for our Dallas office uh, over the next month. And can't wait uh, for, for you guys to see it at some point as well. Second, huge announcement, and by far, I think one of the most exciting things that I've heard in a long time is one of our partners, Ryan Shockey, he had his son, Carson Shockey, qualify for this week's U.S. Open Golf Tournament. The kid shot a 60 to qualify as it had to literally a Tory Pines U.S. Open golf tournament, and we at Integrity could not be more proud. Now, Ron Shockey is one of the partners at American Senior Benefits, and I know Jim Sweeney and Clay Jet and the entire American Senior Benefits team has got to be, they've just got to be losing their minds over this because I know how excited I am uh, for this. And the thing I'm so excited about is is Carson Shockey. I want to spell his name for you. It's S-C-H-A-A-K-E. Uh, we'll be playing in the U.S. Open golf tournament this weekend. So be sure to watch. We're going to be sending out some things about him and his tee times, et cetera. So please root him on. And it's so humbling that he is going to actually be wearing an integrity golf shirt during the U.S. Open. So we're going to, we're going to have a pro golfer at the U.S. Open wearing an integrity uh, branded shirt. Uh, and we are rooting for him and we are praying that he not only shows up, but he wins this entire thing, uh, which would just be incredible. And so, Carson Chaki, listen, my friend, we are praying for you. We are rooting for you. And we would love to have you come on here and tell us about your experience about this as well. And, Ryan, you and your family, I just got to tell you how excited we are for you. One of our core values here at Integrity is family. And we are so excited for your family and, and the entire Integrity family as we root on Carson Shockey, the victory at the U.S. Open. So please, I know there's a lot of golf uh, fans on here. Please watch uh, the U.S. Open this weekend and root for our, our friend and our partner, Carson Shockey, uh, to win this whole thing. We believe in everybody you can do anything that you mind to. And uh, 63, man, you may be setting course records out there. So keep it up, my friend. We're super excited. Well, in addition, uh, I wanted to say that, as we mentioned earlier, we're going to be having our first Women in Leadership Seminar coming up on Friday, June 18th, this Friday, at 12 p.m. Central. We're going to have our very first Women in leader, uh, Leadership 
uh, seminar coming up, and I cannot wait for this. This is something I've been circling on my calendar. I know this is going to be a ton of fun. And one of my favorite people, Joanne Ray, President of Senior Marketing Specialist, is going to be the first guest, and our host is none other than Ann Wood. And we got Ann on the phone today, and uh, we are so proud of all the things that we're doing with um, diversity, but also women in leadership. Um, and one of our core values is respect. Um, and this is something really, I think, that we can really highlight all the great things that, uh, that we're doing here in Integrity, especially for our women in leadership. So I'd love, love to hear what your thoughts are about uh, what we're doing here. Uh, and, and you're the host of the Women in Leadership Series, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I know you're excited about it as well. Oh, I'm so excited, Brian. I Yes, and to have Joanne as our first guest, this is our first inaugural Women in Leadership Seminar Series. I'm so looking forward to it this coming Friday. I hope everyone can join. It's open to everyone. So men, women, everyone's invited. It is on everyone's calendars, and we are going to, yeah, you'll be able to see Joanne and I are going to sit down together and have a great conversation about how she has been able to be successful as a woman in business, uh, how she's mentored women, how she, uh, I'm trying to think of the other questions we're going to ask her. We're going to ask her about her career and how, how she ha- she loves this industry and what she can share with others. And so I'm so excited to interview her. Yes, I'm the host. I'm hopefully I can do as well as you've done on Inspire. You put the bar pretty high, but I'm excited to interview her. And it's women interviewing women. It's just going to be awesome. And yes, it's this Friday at noon. We planned it specifically noon central because it's over people's lunch breaks. So we figured they could log in, watch this interview together, and and let us you know connect about how to keep growing women in this business. So I'm I'm beyond thrilled that we're launching this. I, I didn't. I didn't even think about it until you said that it's for everyone. Of course, it's for everyone. It's, of course, it's for everyone. If, if, mm-hmm. if, if, if you if you don't realize that, then then there's other discussions we ought to have because there is so much to to learn here. Not only has Joanne been a mentor to a lot of strong women in this business, she's also been a mentor to me personally. She's somebody I respect. I've known for most of my career, and I can tell you. Uh, that she has personally mentored me, and, and I have learned so much from Joanne and the rest of the team that's in the marketing specialist and McNary management uh, that I uh, take for granted that, of course, it's for everyone. And I can tell you, you don't want to miss this. Uh, Joanne is one of the best leaders we have, period. Period. So you don't even need to add limit to that comment or anything else. She is a phenomenal leader. And and if if you're if you want to learn from some of the best, you definitely want to be part of this. And I'm so excited to be able to highlight some of our strong leaders overall and especially our women leaders uh, on here as well. In addition, we've got another exciting event coming up called Medicare Live. Last year during COVID, you couldn't travel. Nobody could go to physical conferences. And so we decided to be industry leaders, and leaders lead from the front. And so we decided to have our own um, leadership conference, Medicare-specific leadership conference, and we called it Medicare Live. And it was such a hit. Thousands of agents logged in, carriers and leaders across the business logged in to learn from the best leaders in our business. And that's where the Women in Leadership Council and really our our whole roundtable about women in leadership really started. Um, And there's so much rich, rich content in this, learning from leaders across the board here at Integrity, including my good friend Steve Young, who will be joining us at this year's Medicare Live. And this is also something, even if you're not in the Medicare business, you need to attend because it's an incredible, incredible opportunity. So, uh, Ann, I know you and your team have been working incredibly hard on this. Uh, share a little bit more about some of the exciting things that you guys have been working on. 
Oh, thanks, Brian. We are so excited to do Medicare Live second year in a row. It was incredible attendance last year. And like you said, it was a way to connect virtually since we couldn't see each other in person. And so we love building on that this year. We have incredible guest speakers. We have, as you mentioned, Steve Young, our, our CEO, Brian Adams, is one of the guest speakers. And we just have these industry legends that we're able to share out for all of us to learn to all the agents and agencies out there. And it, it, we got rave reviews last year, and we thought, okay, let's bring it back. What, what do people want to hear? You're exactly right. Women in Leadership was a big deal, which is now what we're expanding on. And people are just excited to learn. There's also um, some open forums on there where people are writing back and forth like, oh, wow, that was a great speech. Did everyone hear that line? And, and then we pull different lessons out of it, and we share them out with the Integrity family. So it is an incredible event. And like you said, it's not just about Medicare. We do call it Medicare Live because it's focused on that. But everyone should join. If you're learning about Medicare, if you're in the Medicare business, if you want to be in the Medicare business, We want everyone to join. We actually even have panels about other different types of products and topics as well. And it's just one of those days that you just soak up all this information. And frankly, it's one of the, uh, I feel like it's such a valuable event that Integrity puts on really to serve the agents, really there to help give them new tools and and, and tricks of the trade, uh, ways that they can learn to do things um, like they're doing now and share them out with each other. It's like a best practices conference. That's the best way to think of it. It's just this fabulous event. And I'm very, as you can tell, I'm, I'm <laughs> a little excited about it. And, and we're working hard to plan for it later in the summer. We just want to get everybody stoked. We need everyone's help to advertise it too. So we'll be sharing those out with all the partners in the coming weeks to help everyone on this call get the word out about Medicare Live. There's prizes too. Yep. There's prizes. I should have said that. We even have prizes for people who attend. Man, this is going to be last year's. It was just so good. It was such rich content. There were so many people who were like, oh, my gosh, this was so amazing. And this year is going to be even way better. We've got such a great plan. Get ready because it's going to be so much fun. And I'm super excited for everybody to participate in this. Well, as we said, we got a lot of big announcements. We just talked about four big things coming up. But. One of the things I love the most is introducing you all to some of our new partners. And here at Integrity, we've been just blessed with being able to add so many partners uh, over this, the last few years to the Integrity platform. Uh, and it's been humbling. Frankly, it's been truly humbling to see all the amazing leaders that have chosen to join us to grow together and see what we can accomplish overall as one big team. And today I wanted to announce that tomorrow we'll be announcing that the Theodore Group will be joining Integrity Marketing Group. Now, the Theodore Group is based out of Kissimmee, Florida. It's owned by Nick and Cindy Theodore. Nick is the CEO and Cindy is the CEO. They've really divided their their, uh, their responsibilities equally, and they essentially said, let's do what we're both great at, and they built an incredible, incredible business, and they're really this dynamic duo that is really un- unstoppable. They specialize in life insurance, and this year they will sell over $15 million of life insurance premium across the country. They're some of the most incredible people I've ever met, and I'm incredibly excited to say that they will both become managing partners here at Integrity and continue to lead their business um, for years to come um, as partners here at Integrity. And so I can't wait to introduce you to both Nick and Cindy Theodore, uh, who I just have grown to love and admire and adore and just Cannot wait to see what we can do as one team together. So, Nick and Cindy, are you guys there with us? We are here. We are. What a big day. We've been working on this. I'll never forget the day we met and we started talking. um, And we started talking about the opportunity that's ahead of us. And you guys were like, I'm in. Let's go. And I was like, well, well, hold on. Let me tell you. And they're like, no, no. 
you guys were like, we get it. Like you, you visionary people see visionary opportunities, right? And you guys were like, we get it. Let's go now. Um, and there was no slowing down from there. So tell us a little bit more about you, yourself and kind of what you guys are building there at the Theodore Group. Thanks, Brian. You know what? Cindy and I are very, very honored and blessed to be part of the Integrity team. You know, in an industry like insurance where bigger is always better, we have definitely landed on the biggest part of the industry. And so it's really like a dream scenario for us, and we are really looking forward to seeing how this Integrity effect is going to get our business to the next level. And, Brian, after all these years of hard work, and there was a lot of effort put in, I have to say we are thrilled to be here with Integrity. It's an amazing opportunity for Nick and I, but we are so excited also for our team, and they're just as excited. And I have to share, when when we sat down and we talked, it, I was so drawn to the fact that we finally found a company like Integrity, like you guys, and you have such values, putting people first. And Nick and I were so drawn to that, we felt like we were home. Yeah, you know, Brian, in our business, since day one, we've always put the client first. And when your business gets bigger and, you know, when it gets massive, like Integrity Marketing and the partners that are with Integrity, sometimes it's you lose sight of the client. But as, you know, talking to you and seeing some of the podcasts and seeing who the partners are, we realize that you guys do things for the right reasons. You know, you put the client first each and every time and you're able to, you know, at one client at a time, be able to build this business. And that's really been, you know, our philosophy from the beginning when we started this business back in 2009. And seeing that what you guys have achieved today just shows us that staying on this course is really the best thing for us. So this partnership, Brian, is a big, big deal to the Theodore Group, and we're very, very excited for it. But man, I, listen, I, it, it, that, all of that means so much to me. Um, I remember, Cindy, whenever we were talking, we met at a conference, um, and we were talking, and then we sat down and, and met, and you said, I just feel like this is home. Like I, this, this is what we've been waiting for. And I was just, I, I, I teared up thinking, Oh my gosh, this, uh, um, this, it just, it was, I don't know why. Sometimes you just have those immediate connections with people. And in integrity, mm-hmm. we got something we call the campfire test, right? And we, by the way, we actually <laughs> sat around a campfire together and, uh, yeah. and had a beer. And, uh, and I, I just remember thinking, God, these are people I want my wife and kids to know, and and we've got to figure out how to become partners. Um, and we sat down and essentially wrote it out right then. Let's do this and let's get going. And and uh, and and we never have looked back. And so, I it means a lot as you say that about being home. And and Nick, as you say, really just about our partners and keeping the small, intimate, core value driven business. At, at the heart of what we do, even as we get larger, is something worth fighting for. And it's something that you, you guys will learn. The thing we talk about most around here is our core values and what we're trying to do and purpose, because you can scale purpose, right? Um, you can scale like here is what we're going to do to help more people. And, and people are drawn to that. And so, uh, guys, I, I, I say all that just to say how honored frankly we are uh by this opportunity and uh and i know our partners on on the phone here and i'm getting a lot of text right now partners saying how much that means to them and how they're saying amen because because this is what drew them to to integrity as well and and it's something that we're committed to continuing to grow uh that small company intimate family feel while we're growing a really large-scale business now you guys have built a great business. Congratulations on all your success. Y'all, you know, people say, well, you're an overnight success. And you're like, well, it took me, you know, how long we've done this. And y'all have done a lot of things and you've done a lot of things incredibly well. Uh, and you've built just an amazing business that is, uh, is going to just be a great, uh, partnership here for all of us. 
tell us a little bit more about the Theodore Group and what you guys are doing, and uh, and, and frankly, um, what you're most excited about here. Well, we're probably most excited about the fact that, you know, the resources that you guys will provide for us will be amazing. You know, we, we came back and uh, got over to the, you know, the Dallas, the temporary office, right? And you actually showed us some things that you've already solved the equation on of problems that we didn't even know existed. So knowing that these are already taken care of allows us to scale the business to the next level. You know, when we got started, Brian, it was 2009 in insurance, and I didn't even have an email address. I had a flip phone. I didn't have a smartphone. I never even turned on a computer. You know, I, I bought a few cars uh, online in different parts of the country, but I had my daughter turn the computer on for me. So the, knowing that you guys um, have the infrastructure for us, that is really key for us. And, and that's really true because, um, you know, there are some things that we, we fought through, um, but now with Integrity being partners with you guys, it's the cutting edge software. You know, we don't spend a lot of time looking at that, and it's like we don't have to now. We have you guys for that. The marketing resources, the office support, oh, my goodness, we are so excited because now this unleashes us for the success that we know we're capable of, of achieving. And, you know, Brian, when we were sitting at that table, um, you know, people are like, are you going to retire? And, you know, when are you going to retire? And, you know, we had that conversation, the three of us, that that's just not something that we're ready to do. And it doesn't really interest us. And it, it certainly doesn't interest Nick, but we shared that with you. And now that we're partners with integrity, it's just like, it's so exciting because it's like, we're just getting started now and we are so happy. Yeah, no, there's no retiring here. We're, we're just getting started. That's for sure. I forgot you. So you guys came in, y'all were one of the first people to see our temporary office. We, we just announced it uh, last week. Um, that we're moving into our, 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 our um, new home um, here in Dallas, downtown Dallas. Um, and you guys got to see some of the things we're working on for the platform, some of the technology enhancements and some of the things that we're trying to improve across the board so people don't have to worry about that, some of the marketing capabilities, some of the, the accounting and, and HR uh, pieces. Um, and so uh, I, I can't wait to have you guys back to see what we build ultimately because it'll be really uh, a special thing uh, that we're, we're able to build it here together for sure. Now, now Nick, I, I understand um, your father passed away, um, and that's when you really made an impact on your business philosophy. Uh, and you, you have such a deep business philosophy that I, I would love for you to share some of that, if you don't mind. I, I know this is personal, so... Um, I understand if it's if it's too hard to talk about, but love for you to share some of your business philosophy uh, and some of the learnings that you have about your father uh, as part of this as well. Oh, absolutely. You know, like Cindy and I have always gravitated to working for ourselves. We got married in '89. By '92, we had started our first business, and uh, we've we've really you know we've had three businesses so far, and we've just always wanted to work for ourselves. You know, about um, a few years into our first business, though, my dad, he retired, and he was in great health, right? I mean, he was like it, like the epitome of perfect health, retired at age 65, but then up, ended up getting cancer and died within just a few months of retiring. And he had everything set up for himself to have a beautiful retirement. The house was paid off, money in the bank. He was an artist. He had an art studio downstairs. And then all of a sudden, he's gone. And it showed me that, you, you know what, you're not promised tomorrow. And if you live your life for it's only something in the future and don't enjoy it now, it could all be gone in just a whiff. And so the similar thing actually happened with Cindy's dad. He retired uh, at age 62 and then passed away within a couple of years, too. It was very, very unexpected. So that just kind of showed us firsthand that, you know what, we would much rather live our life differently than just working like crazy, working like crazy, and not getting any kind of gratification from it, hoping that you can enjoy it for a decade or two down the road, because that might not even come. Wow. Well, you know, it's, it reminds me, we had, 
we had Graham and Ava Miller last night, or last, last week, I should say, talking uh, to us about their announcement. And they talked about that, about learning how to dive in an older age and, and doing a bunch of other things just to live life to the fullest. So you guys have worked incredibly hard to build this business and really hard, but you're also taking time to really enjoy uh, everything that you're doing. And I, I agree, like, you, you know, none of us are guaranteed tomorrow. We've got to, we certainly got to look at ways that we can continue to grow and expand uh, as a business, but also personally and enjoy this as well, which uh, I can tell you, as partners at Integrity, we really all have a lot of fun together, and I'm so excited to have you guys. Now, Cindy, I've heard you talk about the flywheel effect. Every time we talk, you've talked about the flywheel effect. Share a little bit more about that for the for the uh, team members here that uh, may not know that. Oh, we love talking about this subject, the flywheel effect. And it's really a great way to think about building a business when you're thinking about the flywheel effect. It's about building momentum in your business. So you get around the right people, which is super important. Then you treat them right. You treat everyone fair. Oh, my goodness, super important. But then what happens is you get this fiery momentum, and it keeps building, and your business keeps going and going. And that is where success comes. Now, it's super cool, Brian. One of our top managers built us a mechanical flywheel. You've got to see it. It's unbelievable. That would be a week. We got to get a video of that, or, or actually see that. That would be really cool. And one of the things we talk about here a lot is about the integrity effect, which is really kind of a spinoff of a flywheel effect of, of being able to just get that motion and and that that uh, momentum that we can create with scale creates something incredibly special. And so you, you guys have this amazing business. You're just like crushing it, and you guys. I mean, you guys. You know, you know, have a record year in 2021 for sure. Tell me why, and tell our team here why you chose to enjoy or chose to join Integrity today. Well, well Brian, I would already... say it's a, it's, oh, go ahead, Cindy. Okay, sorry. Well, we've already seen the impact that Integrity has on many other agencies. But then, Brian, what we did is we started to talk to some of those partners. And the really cool thing, which is so important to us, all they had was positive things to say. So once again, getting around the right people. And I would definitely add that, you know, whenever you're playing any kind of game, and, and I always think that life's a game, business is a game, you want to be on the best team, right? Like we, we have a place up here in Cleveland, and we also have a place in Florida, and we're building a cabin up in Michigan. But our, our place in Cleveland, our neighbors are literally like the Cleveland Browns. Like Baker Mayfield came out of the uh, – you know, the building the other day, and Cindy's like, who's that? I'm like, I think he's the quarterback, you know. So, like, we, we know about being drafted onto the right team. And, you know, this is a dynasty in the making, and it's and literally it's still just getting started. So we, we feel that we're on the ground floor in a, in a core group of players that we can grow with and build with. And the one thing that we can guarantee, Brian, is growth. We've been growing by 50% every year for the last two years. Um, and so we are looking to keep that up, and I think we can do that based on the, the you know, business philosophy that we have. We're going to hold you to that, man. That sounds good to us. 50% of the year is, uh, is exciting. Well, guys, thank you for trusting us. We are so excited uh, to partner with you. I can't wait for us to get together in the live event and be able to share um, – uh, you know, I should say better to introduce all of our friends together with your new partners. And you two are some of the most fun people we have. And so I can't wait uh, to see all of you guys very soon. Um, you So uh, the Theodore Group is also a partner of Equus Financial. And Barry Clarkson, the CEO of, um, of Equus Financial, uh, has been texting me this morning. And so I want to make sure that he's able to say and, and frankly, be the first to congratulate you guys 
uh, here to the integrity family. Uh, Barry, are you there? Yes, I am. And uh, welcome, Nick and Cindy. You know, Brian, these uh, two have absolutely been rock stars uh, as long as I have known them, and they have been so instrumental in really helping us build Equus. But, you know, when I think of Nick and Cindy, I think of true builders and true professionals. Not only have they built an incredible business, not only have they been the largest producer of leadership at Equus Financial, um, their quality of business is second to none. And I think when you combine that with the integrity effect, when you combine it with the scale that integrity brings to the table, I literally think there is no limit to uh, to what they're going to do in their business over the next few years. So, you know, Nick and Cindy, this has been a journey. And uh, I've known you guys for a long time, and as I just said, you've been absolute pros since I've since I've known you. And uh, again, I just want to welcome you uh, to Integrity, welcome you as a managing partner, and let you know on a personal level how thrilled I am that we are in business together for a long time, and we are in business with Integrity Marketing Group. And uh, this is an absolute dream come true. So uh, welcome to the team, my friends. Brian, I'm going to throw it back to you. Wow, man. Thanks a lot, Barry. Really appreciate it. You're, you're one of the best people we know. Well, uh, we also have Jerry Ewing, who also recently joined Integrity and also is partners with uh, Equus Financial. And uh, want to also ask uh, Jared to say uh, congratulations as well. Uh, Jared, are you there as well? I am, Brian. Thanks for uh, having me on. And uh, first and foremost, congratulations to Nick and Cindy Theodore. Uh, it's an exciting day in the Integrity family. What a great couple, power couple, to be adding to the Integrity family. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, I've actually known Nick and Cindy uh, for 12 years now. They were actually uh, introduced into this industry almost exactly the same time I was. We met at our very first meetings together. Um, and so it's exciting to have partnership with them uh, through Integrity and the Integrity family. And so uh, they're going to be a huge asset to the company and just couldn't be more excited for them and, and what they'll bring to the company. So congratulations again, Nick and Cindy. We're super proud of you guys. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Jared. You guys are – your family that you guys have at Equus is so special. And Nick and Cindy, isn't that fun hearing – uh, Barry and, and Jared, and I know we got John Kite, we got all these other guys who will want to uh, be out there reaching out to you and saying congratulations. Isn't that so much fun to see that happen? You know what? Business is, is fun. We make money. We have a good time. And to be in business with people that we also respect, yeah. that really does make it fun. And now we've got even more partners that we can respect as well. Brian, it's living a dream. We love it. <laughs> oh, we love you guys. Well, thank you very much again. We're going to be publicly announcing this uh, tomorrow, and I can't wait to make this announcement because it's just going to be another one of the really fun announcements you get to make. And your video talks a lot about your story, and so I can't wait uh, for everybody to see that. Well, I got – Kendall, are you still there? Yeah, hey, what's up? I got so excited because we have <laughs> Carson getting into the U.S. Open, Women in Leadership, Medicare Live, our new office. We had so many things to talk about. We forgot to have you sing today. We always have you sing. <laughs> but That's all should right. <laughs> we, should we ask Nick and Cindy to sing instead? Yes. No. Yes, Nick, and Cindy, Nick and Cindy, here's what we do. <laughs> Every Inspired Podcast, someone sings, just to kind of kick it off. I got I, I got so excited this morning. I've been waiting on this day for a while, and I rushed it, and I forgot to have somebody sing. So it can be any song you want, and we would love to hear from you guys. Do you want to sing a song? Okay, for Brian. All right, Brian, I'll do you this. You can do Row, Row, this... Row Your Boat. <laughs> you can do anything okay. you want, bro. 
Okay, Brian, I'll, I'll take the hit on this one. I will sing the beginning of one of my, of probably a song that means the most to me because it's really the way that we feel. It's uh, Bruce Springsteen, uh, Never Surrender. Okay, so I'll just sing the beginning of it and then kind of explain, um, you know, kind of like what it's all about. Does that sound fair? Hey, listen, listen. Okay. This was not planned. This was not planned. Oh, Nobody, not. Like, this is totally impromptu. People wonder if this is a live show. This is true. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is, I, you're such a gamer. You're such a gamer, dude. I love you for this. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, we busted out of class, had to get away from those fools. We learned more from a three-minute record baby than we ever learned in school. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. But I will tell you, Cindy and I's high school career, all right? Now, it ended at, at um, 12th grade, okay? So neither one of us did any other schooling. That's usually, but when, that's usually said, when high school career is in, yeah. That well, hey, well, we didn't do anything after that. Now, Cindy did get a master's degree, but her master's degree was in skipping class because she was a master at that. Um, my sister was valedictorian, but let's just say, Brian, I wasn't. But I would rather be inspired than taught any day of the week. And so, when he said that we learn more from a three-minute record than we ever learned in school, that's us. See, like we will, we will work like crazy and be inspired versus sit there and be taught by some fool all day long. So there you go. I love it. Hey, thanks for being such a gamer. Let's go out and inspire some more people. Kendall, can you believe that they just bailed you out? And I love what, it <laughs> with deeper meaning, deeper purpose behind it as well. It's awesome. I don't even want this day to end. I don't, or this call to end. It's so much fun. Well, hey. Guys, thanks for everything. Uh, we are excited to welcome Nick and Cindy Theodore and the Theodore Group, the Integrity Family. We'll be announcing that tomorrow. Um, congratulations, uh, Nick and Cindy. We're so proud to be a partner. Now everybody here that, that has been listening can know why I've been so excited about this as well. Uh, we're going to have so much fun. hope everybody has an incredible week. Go Carson Shockey. Good luck and win it all, baby. Can't wait to support you. God bless you guys. Take care and have a great one.